Hello and happy Christmas to whoever's watching at this time. You may be on your own, you may be with family and a lot of family we're not able to be with at this time, are we? Um, but whoever you're with, um, I wish you a really happy time. And uh, I just wanted to remind us all about what Christmas is all about. Um, it's about presents and family. And it's also the main thing, the birth of Jesus. And I just wanted to go through the story using some of the dolls that I use um, every Christmas. So we know that an angel, the angel Gabriel, came to Mary and said, um, you're going to have a son and the son's name is going to be Jesus. And Mary obeyed and Joseph supported her. And then they had to go to Bethlehem to be, to be in a census. And so Mary, who was heavily pregnant, had to ride on a donkey. And when they got there, there was no room at the inn, as we know. But a kind innkeeper said they could use the stable where the animals were. So Mary had baby Jesus. And Joseph was there supporting her and helping her. And then the angels went to tell the shepherds all about this new baby Jesus, this new king that had been born. And so they came excitedly um, to see the baby Jesus. And then we know that later on, um, three kings saw a special star in the sky. And they knew that this special star would lead them to um, the baby king. So they came with their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh to give honour to this baby who they knew was very special God's son who'd come to save the world and to free the world. And we know that Jesus is our special Messiah who came to free us and to bless us. And so we thank God for sending his son to us um, to be our saviour. So now we've got a couple of songs by Will Ridpath. Um, he's playing a couple of songs on his guitar, so we'll be able to sing those. And then we've got Tom and Lily doing the reading. Will's going to do the story, and then the Richardsons are going to do the prayers. Oh, get my favourite sweatshirt on. Ah, here it is. It's my favourite sweatshirt, and it says, Love Wins. And I always like to put that on at Christmas and at Easter because that's kind of what the story is about. Love wins. Anyway, I'm going to play you my favourite Christmas song. You may know some, some of it, you may not. Join in if you can. A long time ago in Bethlehem Saw the Holy Bible say Boy, child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. A shepherds watch the flocks by night, they see a bright new star. They hear a choir sing a song and music from afar. Hark now, hear the angels sing. Not a single room inside Then they found a little nook In a 
stable all forlorn And in a manger cold and dark Mary's little boy was born Hark now ye the angels sing A new king born to live And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day Because of Christmas Day. Happy Christmas. I hope you have a great day. The reading is from Luke's Gospel, Chapter 2. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be, be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son. Her firstborn, she wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the hostel. There were shepherds camping in the neighbourhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce that... A great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A saviour has just been born in David's town. A saviour who is Messiah and Master. This is what you are to look for. A baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge um, angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. For God's holy word. Thanks be to God. In the name of the, 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 the. Hello there. Happy Christmas to you. How are you doing? Are you having a good morning? I hope so. I better take these off because I can't actually see what I'm doing or I'm reading. So, um, yeah, I hope you're having a good Christmas morning. I've got a couple of songs for you. Uh, first one, really like In the Bleak Midwinter. So, you probably know it, your folks probably know it. So, try and sing along if you can uh, and help me out. Yeah, how about that? In the Bleak Midwinter. Frosty winds may blow, crusted hard as iron, water like a snow. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, Angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim from the end. But his mother only in her maiden days. Yes. 
special thing. What can I give you, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can I so there we are, what a lovely song and it may not be snowing but it certainly reminds me of what Christmas to me can be about which is thinking about God, thinking about Jesus and thinking about the miracle the miracle of God coming into our world so this is another one and I like usually sing it on Christmas Eve actually and you'll, you'll realise why when, uh, when we listen to the words. those i'm now off to have a little bit of christmas pudding and uh, have a great christmas and i'll see you in the new year bye bye now dear god we hope you we get to find a new vaccine for this new virus we care about people who live on the streets for christmas and they can't see their family. Amen. Uh, dear God, just want to uh, say like thank you for, for um, baby Jesus being born and all the good things that happen in our lives. Um, and I just um, want to um, say that hopefully when coronavirus is over, we can all see each other in the church again. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the good things in this year. like. Um, being able to spend more time with your family and being able to relax at home more. Also, thank you for this Christmas being able to be very good. And also, another thing is that we really hope that the COVID vaccine will work as well as possible. I think it will go well. Merry Christmas, everybody. Amen. So, a Christmas blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, 
the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those you love today and always. Amen. Stay in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Hi Charlotte. Hi. Have been having a good Christmas holiday? Yeah. Thank brilliant. You. Brilliant. Well, happy so Christmas. Before we, yeah, Merry Christmas. Um, before we get on, there are four spot the differences. I hope you can find them. Okay. So what I'm going to be showing you how to make is a Christmas tree tree ornament. It's a bit weird because it's a Christmas tree that goes on a Christmas tree. But it's a Christmas tree tree ornament that you can make at home. All you will need is ribbon, paper, Scissors, a glue stick, and um, colour and pens, pencils, whatever you would like to use. First of all, you're going to fold a corner over to your desired um, size, and then you're going to cut it out so that it has, it's a bit of a flap, right? Let me cut this bit out. As you can see, so it flaps open like that. Then what you would do is you then fold your piece of paper in half, and then you will trace around your tree. So the flat side is against there. And then you'll trace around your tree. So you have three or four more of um, these. Then you will glue the one side. So not this side, but the second one. So as you can see, three or four. And then I've glued the sections, the flaps together. So they sit like that. Then you draw on your ornaments and you can cut little shapes out of them. As you can see, I've done like sort of like a Christmas tree shape. You can add a star on top, make some baubles, and then poke a hole in the top and add your ribbon. And there you have your little tree ornament. That's great. Um, so it's a nice, easy Christmas craft. Yes, yeah, It might be fun good. to make. You can do different ones. You can maybe do a bauble in that sort of style or whatever you would like to do. That's a great idea. Lovely. Or a star or, or a something star like that. Or something like that that you might want to great. make. Great. Thanks very much. So, the spot of difference were my Christmas earrings. Mary does have some, but I don't know if you can see them Not very as well. Not good but as Charlotte's. Mine also make a little... See, Bell mine sound. don't make any noise at all. So. Um, with my Christmas earrings. Then we also have Mary and baby Jesus on our tree. And we also have Kevin the carrot. Um, he's one of my little plush toys. Who's Ooh, fallen over. He's fallen off. <laughs> um, and then the last but not least one is I got Christmas nails. This one has holographic butterflies on and then the rest are white. I also got them matching with my friends. So that's quite cool. And I'm going to go get Raven for you. Yeah, we want to see Raven. Has he um, grown much? Has she grown much? Um, not so much. Come here. There she is. She's just coming to say hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. There we are. There she is. Hello, Raven. Okay, well... Hope you're having a good Christmas. Christmas holidays. Yeah. And hope you have a good New Year. Yeah. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Will we have something? Yeah. Again? Brilliant. Okay. All right. See bye. you. Bye-bye.